Hello, my name is Aaron, and welcome back to the Retro Gaming Collective. I have another interesting video for you guys this week. Um, it's a whole wide range of stuff that I picked up over the course of the week. Um, I have been to thrift stores, I've been to pawn shops, I have been to retail stores, and I even found some cool things online. Um, but I actually found something really cool this week. It's a GameCube Holy Grail that I've wanted for a long time. Um, and I found it for a really, really good price. And I'm gonna show you that at the end, so make sure you stay tuned. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's dive in and see what we found this week. So before I show you guys what I picked up live and out in the wild, um, I wanna show you a couple of things that I picked up on GameStop's website. Um, if you guys have been watching my other videos, you know that I've been kind of hoarding GameStop trade credit um, and I got up to about 600 bucks. Um, at this point, I have spent every nickel of it. Um, I got tons of stuff trickling in, so I will show you all of that in a future video, um, but it's gonna be some really, really cool stuff and I'm excited to show you. Um, but to start, what I have this week I picked up this purple 3DS that my wife has been using much more than I have. Um, we've been playing some Mario on here, and it's actually cool because it came with um, some like Nintendo credits on there, so I was able to get a couple of uh, digital games on here as well. So really, really cool. I, there was even a picture of the person who owned it before me. So GameStop's not great at uh, kind of factory resetting these things. <laughs> but really cool. I did not have a 3DS. I've only had a 2DS, so it was really cool to be able to like upgrade to the 3DS. I've never actually seen that 3D setting. It's really, really cool. It's like, I don't think I could do it for a whole long time, um, headache wise, but uh, it was really, really cool. And then this next thing that I wanna show you here is kind of a bummer a little bit. I'd ordered um, a copy of Twilight Princess. I think I've mentioned it in a previous video for the Wii U. And when it came in, uh, it was a copy of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess for the Wii. So that's a difference of an 80 or $90 game to a $15 game. So, which is kind of lame, right? Um, and it even even the, the, the SKU says Wii U. Um, fortunately, I contacted GameStop online and they were able to get me a brand new copy, not brand new, but you know what I mean? A new copy of the Wii U uh, version. Um, and they said, go ahead and keep this one. So I'm gonna hang on to this, even though I already have a copy. So I will say that GameStop made you know, they made amends for what they did. Um, so I'll continue to buy from them. So without further ado, let's dive in and see what we actually found out in the wild. The first stop I wanna show you is my local Goodwill. It's the one that I go to all the time. It's really, really close by to the house. Um, and, and they've been kind of dry lately. Um, so this, I've probably been here in the last week, maybe about five times and I've only found something once. Um, I found a couple of DVDs, things like that, but nothing game-wise except for this one trip. Um, and I was actually able to find a couple of things that were pretty cool. Um, I got Sniper Elite 3 for the, uh, the Xbox 360. I think this is complete. No, it is not, disc only. But they, they're $1.99, so it was worth it for me to pick that up for two bucks. And then I also picked up Marvel Super Hero Squad for the Wii, and this one is complete. I was able to get this for two bucks, so. You know, it's just, again, it's good to be able to find things in Goodwills. It's it's not like um, quarantine times where, it, you know, it was kind of plentiful. Um, so you gotta kind of got to take the little victories when they come. But yeah, let's move on and see what else we found. Our next stop is actually going to be Habitat for Humanity Restore. It's another local thrift shop. I don't go here as often, um, but I have found some really cool things here over the years, including a copy of Wario World for the GameCube for $1.00. Um, and that's the cool thing about this shop is everything is a dollar, but you just never know what you're gonna get. Um, and electronics and, and movies and games and things like that, it's not really what they do. They're more like furniture and parts and things like that. They have a very tiny little entertainment section. Um, but again, I found some good things. Uh, this week I went and I found a couple of interesting sealed PC games. Um, two, two were Zoom Beanies, and I don't know if you guys remember that game, but that was one that I played a lot growing up on the PC. I actually sent it to my brother when I found them. We took a picture and it was just like instant flashback for both of us. We actually didn't even realize that there were sequels, so it was kind of cool to see those out in the wild, uh, but also sealed. And if you're interested, I did do a Let's Play of the first game, 
a long time ago. I'm going to link that in this video. So if you want to go check that out, it is up and it's been up for years. So um, I did ultimately find this copy of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire for uh, the PS1. Um, and again, everything here is a dollar. So again, just finding a PS1 game out in the wild, even though it's nothing crazy, it's one that I don't have, paid a dollar for it. And I had literally had a dollar bill in my pocket burning a hole. So I picked this up. Um, but yeah, super cool. Now let's move on to the good stuff. All right, so next thing we did, I hit up my local pawn shop that I go to all the time and I got a killer, killer deal. Um, they had gotten a whole new slew of like PS4 and Xbox One games and a couple of interesting like cartridge games and things like that. So I kind of poked through and I found a little stack for myself and, and after um, negotiating with them, I came to a total of $90 for this stuff. Um, and my estimate is that it's worth probably in the 160, 170 range, something like that. Um, and some of it's actually already sold, which is really cool. I plan on selling everything except for one item for myself that I'm keeping. So I'll show you the two things. Well, one is already shipped out. I got, I got a copy of Red Dead 2 uh, for the PS4. It was sealed. I sold that. That's gone. Um, and then I also just sold this copy of Black Ops 2. Uh, it's the Zombie Chronicles edition. This is going out today. And then I also sold a copy of Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. So both of these guys are going out today. Um, and then I also picked up these. They're still for sale um, up on my eBay store. I got the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. I got a copy of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. You'll see a trend here. And then I got a copy of Call of Duty uh, Cold War um, for the PS4. So all of that stuff is, well, these three are still currently for sale. That's all that's left in my pile. I've sold half of it already, which is awesome. It's really cool. Um, but I'm keeping this one for myself. I got Mario Party for the N64, and I ended up getting this um, at the end of the day for about $25. So a really, really good deal on this stuff. Um, and again, it, that's that's why I always say, like, when you go to places like pawn shops, you go to thrift stores or whatever, make sure that you are... Um, friendly with the people working there, create a relationship. And that's what this is about. If, um, if you have a good relationship with the people working there, they will give you deals. They will tell you when they get the good stuff. Um, and it's just a good thing for everybody because you're spending money um, and you're getting the good stuff. So um, definitely continue to do that. Now, I want to show you one more pickup here. So let me get this stuff ready. So finally, I want to show you, this is, this is my favorite pickup of the week. Um, I've been to the store before. I picked up some cool things here. I got, um, in the past, I got Silent Hill Origins for 65 bucks. I picked up a copy of Fantasy Star for the um, Master System for 80. Um, and that's a super expensive game these days. Um, and it's really cool because they will work with you. Now, um, they are more of a D&D &D board game style store and they're just moving over into the video game space. So they're kind of even putting together their, um, their like setup, like the way they display the games. It's, it's just getting put together now. Um, and they'll work with you price-wise if you spend some money with them, which I did. Um, so I, I poked through everything. They had some really sick PS2 games. They had some Dragon Guards in there that I was really interested in. Um, just some really, really fun stuff. NCAA 10, um, just, uh, folklore for the PS3 that I was really interested in. Now, the issue is some of the games are priced higher than eBay. So you kind of have to do some digging. The unfortunate thing is they they don't let you access the games. You have to ask for help. So um, you don't get to kind of like pull out the prices. And so what I the way that I do it is I poke through all the stuff. I look up the prices of the things that I'm interested in. And if they're reasonably priced, then I will consider picking them up. If they're not, then I'll just move on and find something else. But I did actually find a couple of things that I was really interested in and ultimately picked up. Now they had this copy. I'm gonna show you the first one. This copy of Mortal Kombat Collection. They had it going for 45, it's complete. Um, the only issue is it has like a little tear down here. Um, but even so, this game, it, it includes Shaolin Monks, Deception, and Armageddon, all the Mortal Kombat's for PS2 there. Um, and this sells anywhere from, I've seen it from from 60 to uh, 85, 90. So it just depends on, and I'm, I'm sure this is gonna, you know, cause me to get a little bit less than 
I would hope. But still, otherwise, in great shape. Like, all of the games are completely, like, immaculate. They're complete. Like, everything looks great. They look like they've hardly been played. Um, I mean, look at this. It looks like it's never been touched. The manuals are incredible. So, hopefully that will help me uh, recover some of my costs for the next item that I actually want to keep for the collection. I told you that this was a grail um, for me. If I can get these back in here, I'll do that after the video. I don't want to hold you guys up. So this is this is the coolest thing for me. I picked up a copy of Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. Um, and this is like, so they had a sticker on it for 130, right? Um, it was in a, a not, not a GameCube case. Fortunately, I had a replacement case and it was a little chewed up along the bottom here, right? Um, and a little bit, not crazy, but a little bit on the back. Um, and then I actually had this little booklet that I left in there. I don't have a manual for it. And the disc, um, it works great. Um, just again, just has that little bit there. So um, I'll, maybe one day I'll be able to upgrade and you know get a, get a better copy for myself, but I haven't been able to find a decently priced copy of this. Uh, but I ended up getting that, that uh, the Mortal Kombat collection and Gale of Darkness for 150 bucks. So really, really good deal um, in my opinion. Again, they will work with you on the prices, um, especially if you're a returning customer like I am. And again, it's just, it's about making um, relationships with the folks that you are uh, you're purchasing from. So that's really all that I wanna show you guys this week. Um, I'm really pleased with what I picked up. It was a pretty wide range of stuff. Uh, but if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. You can like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. Or you can follow me on Instagram at the Retro Gaming Collective as well as TikTok where I post like pictures of my collection and videos of my dog, whatever you want to see. It's all on there. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. And until next time, happy hunting.